So I got something pretty cool and kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, tell me what you think. Kapow! <laughs> Check that out, right? All right, well, uh, let's take a closer look at this. What's going on, YouTube? It's finally spring, so you can see parts are rolling in. Got a custom build already started. In fact, that's what those forks you saw are actually going to go on. And as you can see, this thing is going to be a beast. But check out those. I gotta step back because I can't even get it in the shot. Uh, it's actually over eight feet long from uh, wheel to wheel. So getting this done for a customer, uh, I don't really know what the plan is. There's actually a lot going on. Um, the seat, nice custom seat that sits down that really plants your ass to the ground. But uh, I don't really know what's going on. I think we have a billet case reed engine maybe for it. I don't know. So these rims, nothing like that is going to stay on it. That was just actually to get it on the ground so I could see exactly what was going on. But damn, things going to be awesome. So I got a lot of cool stuff coming your way. In fact, I'm going to finish all these bikes and try to get these projects done. The Hyper, in fact, Adam, best friend, already bought it. He's the one that bought that. So he's going to actually uh, he's going to do a lot of fun stuff to that thing. All right, well, let me actually tell you, I don't, for safety reasons, I don't like using Springer forks at all. Um, in fact, this bench style really should never be used for anything motorized bikes. And in fact, uh, you see this bike is actually just going to be show bike. I wouldn't go over about five miles an hour with those bent ones. doesn't really matter what type of bike. The, the problem is the side-to-side -side sway. You really have no control, so, you know, you have to lean over to turn you have that bouncing. So, and that really kind of goes with any Springer. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this Schwinn Drifter that I built last year. Um, uh, Drifter was the right name for that thing because any sort of speed at turn, you know, turning at any sort of like, you know, 10 miles an hour and over, you have that side to side bounce back and forth. And even this one I built two years ago that was real solid, low, had real heavy, I think uh, 60 spoke, 60 spoke rims on there they're pretty heavy um that thing especially at high speeds bouncing back and forth really didn't feel safe and even when i've built some with like the double monarch as you can see a lot of people use on especially the um built-in gas tank frames because it does have a one and one eighth uh diameter down to so even with those those are probably your best bet for the price range but even those at high speeds, you're still not being, you're, you can't curve into those, you know, any sort of high speed turn or you can't carve at all and feel safe. But these actually probably will give you a fighting chance when it comes to that because you can see they actually took a triple tree fork, unlike a lot of the other ones that you see, they took a triple tree and added a, it's pretty much a double linkage double springer up front that you can see so in fact let's go on over let's check out 3gbikes.com alrighty well the place you can get them you can see is 3gbikes.com and it's actually they have a lot of really high end uh, type bicycle and accessories and that kind of stuff big nice fat tire cruisers kids bikes three-wheelers tandems a uh, little bit of everything check out their website just alone for bicycles top-notch parts um, so let's go over here to parts and accessories and kind of check out what they got here and it's like I said we try not to get lost here they got badges wheels really nice rims if you guys are into the fat tire bikes uh, two speed one speed a lot of nice stuff but not what I'm here for uh, chains bags cool stuff here as you can see this is their custom-made triple tree linkage bicycle fork nice looking set of forks here um, so it's gonna show you there already built for disc brakes so any standard uh, not that you want to use a mag on the style but 
that would definitely work. Now let me show you the dimensions here because this is as a 13 inch steer tube, you know, the down tube. So that is actually pretty large, but you can cut it here. If you really wanted to drop this section down, these two, you can see, actually drop that down. So a whole thing when you see them in real life. I've always seen pictures of these, but this is the first time I've ever seen these in real life. And I mean, they're expensive, but if you're looking for a safe set of custom forks that are fucking badass, excuse my French, but uh, this is the way to go. Now, it does use a one-inch threadless headset. So you can see they actually do sell an adapter just in case you did have a one and one-eighth set up. Uh, you can still use these forks. So they this place does sell nice parts, obviously. So get on there. 3gbikes.com. Check out what they got, honestly. You won't be let down. Alrighty, I'll keep this one short and sweet. Uh, yeah, check out the new website, the store that I started. Realize there's a lot more going on that I need to get finished there to actually start a store. But it's up, it's running, they're selling parts. I got cool, I got all those stands, covers, custom t-shirts. It's all in the works, it's happening, I promise. Um, check out more of this thing, that's going to be sweet. Everybody check it out, thanks for watching. Um, check out the website, of course. Um, I do have a couple engine kits coming to review. I got a, uh, one actually coming from Zeta, which I ordered 12 days ago when just received the tank in a box by itself. Um, I actually have some from Bikeberry. We're going to check those out too. Um, stay tuned. Appreciate it. You guys keep it coming. Thanks a lot.